fellow Transformer fans, this is 37 Rust Dog back again with another Transformers review. And this time, this is over the Transformers Universe Classics 2.0, as I call it, Galvatron. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to send a quick uh, shout out to uh, T Guy 78. Thank you. Yeah, I, had, I used to have this figure a while back. When they came out with them. And of course mine got destroyed. But. Now that I, get, now that I got him. Now I got my whole entire set. Just about complete. But. We're going to get to the transformation. And it's very complex. But fun. First thing we're going to do. Is we're going to pop this off. And yes. It can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, because you got to pop this loose. <sighs> and fire the missile at the same time. Well, I'm trying to get it popped loose. Hold on, let's try this side. Ah, <sighs> Why can't Hasbro make figures easy? Not these really super simple ones, but I'm talking about, like, easy. Well, anyway, there we go. Pop that loose. Pop this one loose. And it snaps off. That's one thing about the universe lines that you, the universe figures you're going to find. They do like to pop off. But as far as the figure goes, I still think he's cool. Then we're just going to pop this loose. Take this apart. If I can open it. Damn. They had to make Galvatron so complex. And the other is very easy. Then we're just going to rotate the turret. Like so. And my phone is acting up, so... Can't wait to get a new one. So I can actually do my reviews. Push that together. Now, usually... This is usually a pain in the ass, but... Once you push them together, it's going to lock in place. Then you're going to rotate this down. Bring this back. And it's going to lock in place. There, you got his arm ready. Now, we're going to concentrate on the legs. But first, you got to get everything out. And out of the way. I wish my fucking phone would, wouldn't uh, act like this. I'm about to fucking power boot the bitch. And I know I don't have internet service, you fucking piece of shit phone. So leave me the fuck alone. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Damn. Bring it all the way. Well, and of course the legs like to pop off too. That's the reason why the universe line, I'm about to say the universe line pretty much sucked. Even though they came up with some cool figures. And yeah, you're going to be running into a lot of these problems with the universe line. The figures like to break off. There we go. Now we're just going to rotate this. Fuck it. Best thing to do is just take the... My opinion, take the whole figure apart, like I'm doing, and you just bring it all down like this. There, you got one leg. Makes it so easier. Do that. Shove it forward. Pop that down. Turn this around. There, you got the second leg done. And now... We're waiting till I get the other rest of the legs done. And you gotta turn this part right here. I'm gonna move these legs out of the way. You're gonna turn this around. Bring these down like that. Turn that around, bring it down. And there you go. Now we can go ahead and pop these back into place. I know I'm throwing some extra steps in, but you know what? It does help. And you got that part done. 
Now I'm going to scoot it back so that we can actually suck. Well, hold on. We're going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit, angle it down. And then we're just going to tilt this back, bring the arms down, or at least bring the arm down. Bring this over, take that little gray piece, and pop it out, if you can. If not, just say, screw it. It's supposed to be like a hook. Why, I have no clue. Just like that. Then you're going to reach in here, pull this hand up, drop it down, and then turn it. And Galvatron's arm is done. Then, see how this all likes to bend? You're going to push all this forward, but when you do, we're going to, I'm going to show you something on the back. Drop that down. When you're bringing it forward, you got to get all. You have all this kibble. You're gonna push it in. I just hope you're seeing this. And then push it all the way up till it pot, till it snaps, and it's in place. Then, of course, you got to turn the hand, and then bend it down, and there you go. Arms are done. I know a lot of people were having problems, especially with the backpack. So, if you want to remedy this right here, if you want, you can also put just a drop of super glue. That way, when you bring these over and swing it around and it locks in place, right? I'm trying to get a zoom in right here. You can actually lock it in place like that. Same way right here. So what we're going to do while fighting with it, bend it down a little bit, turn it, find the peg, find the slot, and we're in. Now the backpack's done. Now... The cool part I like to do, and of course then you bring it all the way down, I always like to take the feet out. And arch it about right there, just like that. To make it kind of resemble that of the G1 version. Just like that. And now, Galvatron is almost transformed. Pull that up, flip that down, lock it in place. And voila, Galvatron is hereby formed. And he's really cool looking. I like him. For a deluxe, they could at least made it. I mean, they, they could have made him a Voyager class, but I am not complaining. Especially waiting this long, and then the Galvatron that I saw at the um, the Titans Return wasn't too thrilled with it because they had him into a plane mode. What the hell? I have never heard of Galvatron being a plane. Only on the Energon series was he ever a plane. Other than that, I just got to straighten these up right quick. Yes, I was doing a little bit of painting. Supposed to be sleeping. But there's Galvatron and all his glory. Now... We're bringing in his his second in command, Cyclonus. Oh, and uh, by the way, Galvatron's cannon does fire, but I ain't going to test it out, though. And you notice that Galvatron's a little bit um, shorter than Cyclonus. Just a tad bit. I'm trying to find a way where I can actually... It's supposed to lock where his uh, where his feet are level, but I guess with all the kibble on his back, it's kind of weighting him down a little bit. Unless there's a way to deal with this. I think there is. Hold on. Oh, okay, just shove it up there like that. Set that down right on top. Still doesn't make a shit bit of difference. 
And that's my cat in the background. She's bitching. Cause she's hungry. You know, I'll, I'll I'll feed them on time. So we got him. Then we got Cyclonus. And if you notice, their color schemes are almost kind of matching. Then we got the classics lineup. From other words, basically the generations. Scourge, which I left his wings closed. <coughs> now we got the Titans return, which I finally figured out that you can actually raise that little visor thing. I'm gonna move these guys back. And technically, he's going to be over here. See? And then, last but not least, I'm bringing in my Beast Wars, or should I say Beast Machines, Tank Core drones. Now, the reason why I'm using the drones in one of my other projects, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good storyline, because, I mean, I got like 500 of them already thought of, but... At the same time, I'm going to do one where it's actually Galvatron, Cyclonus, Scourge, and some of his sweeps, and the Tankor drones, and have it where Galvatron is actually in charge of the tank, of the tank drones, and they're more like his army. Of course, I got him kind of leaning forward a little bit. See, there you go. I'm bringing in the other one. Because I brought in two. I got a total of ten. But I wanted to uh, at least display what I have. So I can show you what type of an idea I plan on using these figures for. But, and the cool thing of it is the tank or drones are actually easy to um, transform. Yeah, you can also open these up if you want. To give, make it more intense looking. But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that he sent me the, the Galvatron one. And I even got his commander, the tank or a commander. When you look at him, they're pretty much bigger than Galvatron. But here's the lineup for one of my later on later projects. But until then, this is 37 Rust Dogs signing off.